can't be something to everyone. You need to be everything to someone. And I thought that that's really, I'm like, wow, that's, yeah, that's really crazy. great. That's like a great like quote, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah. cause a lot of times, you know, you, you work on your, you work on art, you work on your mixes and you're trying to like, please everybody. Yeah. And then you end up just kind of like watering down what you do. You just make like a very sterile version of something. Cause you're not, you're going to be afraid to take risks cause you're going to be thinking, well, you know, what if somebody doesn't like that, you know, or what if, if one person doesn't like this because you know, they don't like you know, edgy guitars or something, yeah. but like, instead of just, you know, embracing, you know, what you want to bring to the project, embracing what you want to, to what statement you want to make, yeah. you know, and that goes, I think for everybody in, in a project, you know, the artist, the producer, the mix engineer is like, like, what are, what are you specifically bringing? Like you mentioned, like you see things in colors and yeah. Um, you know, and, and you have your artistic sensibilities, that's your greatest asset, not EQs mm -hmm. or compressors or anything else. It's, it's what you bring to it and what you can draw out of it to help, to help enhance it. And, and if you're doing all of them, you know, you're kind of doing it all at once. You know, you're, if you're writing your own material and you're seeing it all the way through to the mastering process, you know, it's not, uh, it's not very linear for artists like that. You're kind of writing, producing engineering mixing like mm -hmm. all at the same time yeah you know so there's, and there's pros and cons to that you know but, yeah, yeah yeah but that's you know that's that's um you know something that for that for me i try to remind myself of with with, with every mix is like yeah. well what am i bringing to this you know like and, and it helps you relate to artists better too because you can have those kind of conversations you know it's like you're you're talking to them and you're really understanding what what connected them to this project and then you try to tap into that and then you know find your own way to, to connect to it as, as well. And I, I feel that that's always been um, my best work has always come like when I've been able to get get to that level of like connection with, with the material. Cause then you feel like an artist.